Hello, Community Church of Mount Pleasant. This is Pastor David. It is Wednesday, August 23rd. Amazing. We're already working our way through August. I, I can't believe it. It seems like we were just talking about May and June and getting into the summer and school being out, and now summer's over. School is, uh, the kids are back in school, and uh, man, it's just amazing how time moves on. I hope you had a exciting eclipse day on Monday. That was a pretty unique day, a very special day, and boy, just, just lots of thoughts and observations as, as we kind of watched our world, our country experience that eclipse, and and uh, it's pretty cool, pretty cool to see that God is still can can start and stop things whenever he wants to. He can he God is in control certainly and so hope you enjoyed the eclipse and of course we had a great time Sunday at church as we always do. Just a lot of neat things. One thing I was going to share with you, we had our vote Sunday about our facility lease, which we were looking at a property in Mount Pleasant. It is uh, an old mill uh, facility and we have an opportunity to lease that and uh, there will be two buildings specifically that we'll have an opportunity to lease. One is office space and it's just lots and lots of rooms for our children's ministry on Sunday mornings. Uh, we have all kinds of rooms and now at the school it's wonderful but it's a little bit of a challenge to teach. They're down in hallways and gyms and all over the place and, and uh, I'm, I'm amazed that our children's workers do such a phenomenal job, but this, this gives us an opportunity to, to really kind of unpack for, for a while, while we're getting ready to move into our building process, and, and uh, ultimately there's a facility there that we can worship in on Sunday mornings that will give us more capacity for seating, more room to grow. And so uh, the vote Sunday was, uh, yes, it was in favor and it was unanimous. Uh, again, I'm, I'm always so encouraged at the uh, the unity, and we talked Sunday night in prayer and plan. We talked about unity at Acts chapter four. Unity is a powerful thing uh, for a family, for a church family. And one of our uh, members made something to this effect as a comment. He said, "You know, a church that is unified can stand any challenge, any any opposition. A church that is uh, solidly unified and together." Man, we can we can stand together and move forward. So, thank you for the unity that uh, that you show and support and encouragement. And and so Sunday was a great day. Now this weekend is a huge weekend. Let me preview it briefly for you, and then we'll get into our devotional. Uh, well, a lot of stuff coming up this weekend. Saturday, the twenty sixth, big day. We we have an ignite leadership. Uh, session for our church. It's an event. It'll be 9 to 12. Now here's the deal. 9 to 10 is breakfast, okay? Family breakfast for everybody here at the barn. And I really want to encourage everybody, come and eat breakfast with us Saturday. From 9 to 10, we have uh, everything you can think of. Ham, sausage, biscuits, gravy, uh, grits, eggs, all kind of good things for breakfast. So come, bring your friends. Uh, you don't have to be a member to be involved. Just come. And then from 10 to 12, we're going to spend two hours, really three sessions, talking about this fall. We're talking about our ministry teams. We're talking about a philosophy of, of how we can manage the growth that God's giving us and just several new ministries that we're going to unveil this fall. And there's four specific ones I'm very excited about. Uh, one is our ladies' ministry. We've kind of revamped and, and, and ramped that up a little bit. And uh, we have a new leadership team in place, and so we got some neat things. We also have our senior adult ministry, which will start this fall. I've never done anything like that before. And Frank and Carol Mancini will begin next Wednesday with a 10 o'clock time together for our senior adults. And we'll kick that off. Also, um, our, we're starting a ministry called the Network Ministry. The net work was the work that Jesus did when you cast out nets and you fish for men. And we'll be talking about, uh, on Sunday mornings, this ministry that everyone can participate in. And then also we're starting a middle school youth ministry starting next September 3rd, which will be our promotion day. So, man, don't miss Saturday. Uh, come and eat breakfast from 9 to 10. 10 to 12 we have these sessions and we'll talk about leadership and we'll, we'll inspire you and encourage you and give you clarity about the church and where we've been and where we're going. So... This Sunday is really going to be an exciting day. Sunday morning, uh, man, a couple of important things. We have a special kids program, a 30-minute kids program Sunday, and it's called Super, uh, All Things Are Possible with God, Super God. 
presented by our children. And then after that, we're going to have a baby dedication, maybe a couple. And we're also going to have, uh, uh, I'll be preaching a briefer, more abbreviated message about our children's ministry. We're going to show you, lay out our curriculum and show you exactly kind of where we're going with our children's ministry. So, man, Sunday morning, I can't wait. 30-minute uh, kids program and, and then uh, baby dedication and just some, some really neat things on Sunday morning. It's going to be awesome. And then Sunday night, this Sunday night is our next baptism. Uh, these are special times that will be at the home of Cecil and Sonia Jenkins. And uh, they're, they're so uh, awesome to allow us to come to their place and have our baptism. And it's going to be a real special time Sunday night at 6 o'clock. I hope you can come for that. So, wow. Just a lot of cool things coming up. Um, and it's it's going to be this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, and then uh, Promotion Sunday, September 3rd for our kids. And then we're into the fall, into September. And uh, man, it's going to be awesome. Lots of things to tell you and share with you and look forward to as a church family. And uh, man, I, I just want to thank you for, for a fantastic summer. You have been so faithful to attend and to give and to serve. Uh, I'm just amazed, really, at, at your faithfulness and the way that you come and love the Lord and serve the Lord. And, and you, you inspire me as your pastor, and I thank you for that. So today, man, I have some great news for you today from the book of Psalms. We, we have a, uh, I want to look at Psalm 146 today. There's ten verses. I want to read that for you. <clears throat> I want to talk to you about our awesome God out of Psalm 146. And, and um, uh, man, as we read this, I want to just... I want to, point out some observations from Psalm 146. And so we'll begin with verse 1 and we'll, we'll read through verses 1 through 10 of Psalm 146. And I love how the psalmist starts in Psalm 146. Verse 1, praise ye the Lord. What, what, a, what a great way to start your verse, to start your day, to start your fall. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord and he says it again. Praise the Lord, O my soul. Verse 2, while I live Will I praise the Lord? I will sing praises unto my God while I have any being. So in the first two verses, he focuses on praise. You know what? I, I know a lot of us have challenges and struggles and frustrations and battles. It's just a battle. But if we focus on these first two verses of Psalm 146, I think it would adjust our attitude a little bit. The focus is on praising the Lord. God, how good you are. How awesome is our Lord. And we just want to stop and take a minute and just praise Him. And just stop. And, and just maybe get our focus off of ourselves for a minute. And focus on our incredible, eternal, sovereign, holy, awesome God. That's how Psalm 146 starts. Now, I want you to look also, secondly, we're going to see in verses 3 and 4. I, I want you to watch this in verse 3 and 4. Put not your trust in princes, nor in the sons of man, in whom there is no help. His breath goeth forth, he returneth to his earth. In that very day his thoughts perish. You know what the, the, the psalmist says here? First two verses, praise the Lord. Focus on God. He's awesome. The next two verses, don't put your hope in men. Men will discourage you, they will disappoint you, and, and often we're disillusioned because we think, oh, this guy's great, I voted for him, this guy's great, he's our, he's, I trust him and I'm putting my confidence in him and then he disappoints you. Don't be surprised. The best man you know is still just a man. And, and... The psalmist here says, don't put your trust in politicians, in preachers, in world leaders, even in family members sometimes, because they can disappoint you and, and hurt you. And, and maybe it's a, a friend or a teacher or someone in your life. And, and, they, and so be careful to not put your hope in humans, because they're still just humans. As your pastor, I don't want to disappoint you. I don't have plans to disappoint you, but I may. I want you to really remember to focus on God, our Heavenly Father, because He will never disappoint you. In this world we're living in, men will fail you. They may not even mean to. 
but they'll disappoint you. Now, let's look at the next five verses. I want you to see some verbs. I love verbs, and I love what this chapter says about God, our awesome, wonderful God. Here's what God does. I want you to look uh, in verse 5, and I want you to re I want to read these next few words. These are what God does. God is our hope. God is our help. Happy is he that hath the God of Jacob for his help, whose hope is in the Lord. Your hope isn't in men. Your hope is in God. It's not on humans. On this earth, it's in God. Here's what God does in verse 6. Which made heaven. God made the heaven. And earth and sea and all there is is. Now we saw that Monday with the eclipse. God did that. Man didn't do that. God came up with the eclipse, the ark, the beautiful wonderment of, of the creation. God did that. Man didn't do that. Man is not capable of doing that. It's God. Verse 7. God also executes judgment for the oppressed. Many times I feel like that's not fair. Why do some people have to suffer so much? Where's justice? Verse 7, God executes judgment for the oppressed, which giveth food to the hungry. The Lord looses the prisoners. God is just. He's fair, and He will work everything out. He will make things work. He looses the prisoners. You know what God's about? God is about setting you and I free because of His grace and His love. Verse 8, The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. Many times, you and I are blinded. Maybe we can see physically, but there are things we can't understand. God opens our eyes and helps you to see physically and spiritually. The Lord raiseth them that are bowed down. The Lord loveth the righteous. He encourages you when you're depressed. Sometimes you say, well, I'm just going to just reach down and, and I'm going to let God do it. Let God encourage you. Let God sustain you. Let God lift you up. God loves you. Verse 9, the Lord preserves the strangers. He relieves the fatherless and widows. Many times in this world there are underdogs who, who do without... They don't have a mom or dad or, or brothers or sisters. They're alone. They're depressed. God raises them up and He gives them relief. The fatherless and the widow. But the way of the wicked he turns upside down. Wow! That's so cool. He confounds the wicked. And he wraps it up with verse 10. Here's verse 10. The Lord shall reign forever. Don't worry. Listen. What it is, whatever it is you're worried about today, give it, don't worry about it. I mean, do your job, be diligent, but don't stress. The Lord will reign forever, even thy God, O Zion, and to all generations. Praise you, the Lord. So we start by praising the Lord. In the middle, we say, don't put your hope in men, because they'll let you down. And the last verse, he says again, praise ye the Lord, because he's awesome. Our awesome God. Church, I'm excited about this fall. I can't wait till this weekend. Saturday, I hope you come for breakfast at 9 and 10 to 12 for our leadership session. Sunday morning is our kids program, our baby dedication, Sunday night baptism. It's going to be an awesome fall. Happy Wednesday. God bless you, church. We love you.